In my medical practice, for the past 12 to 15 years, I have tested all of my patients who come in for help and find that by far and away, the vast majority of them, 90%, have a metabolic condition that makes gaining weight easy and losing weight hard. It's a metabolic condition called insulin resistance. And to describe it, what it has to do is a problem with getting sugar or glucose or nutrients inside our cells to give our cells adequate energy. Basically, the whole reason we eat is to feed our cells. That's why we eat, so our bodies have adequate nutrition. But when somebody gains weight, either due to genetic reasons or they've gained a certain amount of weight, their metabolism changes. The majority of my patients, when I test them, they have what's called insulin resistance. Insulin is a hormone that helps allow sugar to enter cells so the cells have energy. When someone's insulin resistant, the, the cells do not get the sugar in. It tries to enter, the body still makes insulin, but when it attaches to the cell, the opening to the cell, the glucose portal remains closed. So sugar doesn't get in. Our cells are starving. And in fact, when we find that somebody has high blood sugar, when we test their blood, like they're diabetic or pre-diabetic, what it's showing us is that the sugar is in our bloodstream, not inside our cells, where we need it to be for energy. And that's the metabolic problem I'm talking about. The problem with insulin resistance is if you have it, it becomes easier to gain weight, and harder to lose weight. So you gain more abdominal weight and become more insulin resistant and it becomes harder to lose weight and easier to gain weight. And this is the cycle that so many people who struggle with weight get into. They may gain 30 pounds for one reason or another, stop smoking, have children, their life was stressful, they were in school, what have you. They knew they weren't eating right but figured that when I have time, I'm gonna devote time to myself, I'm gonna start working out, I'm gonna eat better and things that I'm gonna lose weight but they don't. They exercise, they eat better, but their metabolism has changed and they don't lose the weight the way they used to when they were maybe only five pounds overweight or the way we're supposed to be able to lose weight. It's that insulin resistance that I feel is the key that makes most people have such a hard time losing weight that they end up giving up. But it is absolutely treatable. I know that for a fact. I've worked with thousands of patients over, the, over my career in my practice specifically with this problem. It's treatable with the right type of diet, and that's the diet that is present in the Bistro MD meal plan. The amount of carbohydrates matter, the amount that each meal matters, the amount of protein at each meal, the amount of protein throughout the day, the amount of uh, fat, all of that matters in trying to reverse this condition. But it is reversible. With giving your body the right nutrients as you lose weight and you lose fat and you lose abdominal fat, people become less insulin resistant, they're able to correct this problem, and their metabolism becomes more normal. And that's really the key. It's very hard to lose weight if your own body is fighting you. And that's where I feel most people who struggle with weight in this country are. They're left to feel that they are just lazy, not working hard enough, obviously don't know what they're doing with regards to counting calories or whatnot, but in reality, internally, they're fighting because their body is starving. Their cells don't have the adequate energy. But again, it's reversible. It gets better with the right meal plan.